outspoken critics were shown burning in Dante's Inferno. Hello again, Amos, with today's picture panel, City Hall. I really like this one. Uh, the building looks the same, and I already knew where it was. I wasn't able to get to the exact same angle. I think that before the, all the tall buildings were built up around it, that there was probably a, a shorter building, and this was taken from on top of it. So here's just an angle that I captured from the street. I think that the main view I think of when I think of this building is the view that you see when you're on Bay Street, actually, and walking toward it. It's a very distinctive building, and I think the first thing that jumps out at you is that it's made of three very different colored stones. As you walk around this building, you can see that each side has its own fun things. On this side, they've carved in the text City Hall. There's also these large, rough boulders up here. The doors here are wooden and have these cool, swirly metal things. The back is probably the most tame view. There's some older stone gargoyles. There's also this cage. Uh, some of the windows are barred up. Again, really intricate metalwork, though. I think that inside is just VIP parking, or at least this VIP dumpster. Um, sometimes when you walk by, the gates will be open. They're usually closed, though. This side says courthouse. We can also get a better view of these lamps. There's a lot of weird brickwork over these windows here. There's also two very large dates, 1889 and 1898. The architect, Lennox, took 10 years to build the building and it went like five times over budget. A lot of the city councillors were not happy at all with all of this expense and time and actually decided not to allow Lennox to put a plaque saying that he was the architect on the building once it was finished. These city councillors were pretty critical of Lennox, considering that he had a large team of stonemasons still carving the outside of this building. After a few changes, Lennox had snuck some symbols that look awfully a lot like letters into some of the corbels around the top of the building. Starting at the courthouse side, we see E-J, L-E-N, N-O-X, A-R-C, H-I-T, E-C-T, A-D, 18 and 98. E.J. Lennox, architect, 1898. No plaque was necessary. Much less subtly, he also carved the faces of those counselors in unflattering poses all over the front of the building. His most outspoken critics were shown burning in Dante's Inferno. Apparently the one with the large handlebar mustache is Lennox himself. The front has this 300 foot tall clock tower off center so that it lines up with Bay Street. At the time, this was the tallest tower in Toronto. There's this cenotaph out front. These interesting shapes. This one column has a zigzag pattern. Across the street is the new city hall, but this video needs minimum three whole videos. We can talk about the unplanned proposals or all the changes that they've made to this building or even the bizarre solid concrete furniture that instead of drawers just had huge bricks under the desks and made them almost impossible to move. I feel like if you just watched this video, you'd assume that this building is a big gaudy mess of sort of tasteless things all over the place. Random swirls and dragons and caricatures and Lennox was here graffiti and mismatched stones and inconsistent brickwork and random columns and twisty metalwork and a big off-center tower and haphazardly shaped windows. But I don't think that anybody actually thinks of the building this way. There's a beautiful, consistent inconsistency about this building. It has an almost fractal design where both from a distance and right up close, it has a similar level of whimsical uh, but really talented design and it's somehow all balanced in how unbalanced it is and I think that achieving that shows a lot of talent actually on behalf of the architect. I've seen buildings with much less ornamentation and far simpler designs that actually look visually a lot more busy and often the designs look like they've been slapped on haphazardly or as an afterthought and that's not the case at all with City Hall.
The only update since this photo was taken is that some of the gargoyles have been replaced with solid brass ones because the sandstone ones had a habit of falling off and putting holes in the roof. Um, and obviously a lot of buildings have been built up around this, but I actually really like this. It almost doubles down on the fairy tale-ish energy that the building has with all of its sort of whimsical design being surrounded by all of these big concrete towers. If you're in Toronto, you definitely need to take time to just walk right up to this building and experience it. The things I can't capture in the video very well is the actual texture of the stone and just the amount of intricate and 3D detail that's in each of these things. Anyway, have a beautiful day.